<clears throat> hey gang, hello, thank you for joining me today. My name's Dan, and this is Daily Art Adventure. In case you wondered what that D-A-A -A stands for, Daily Art Adventure, there you go. Daily Art Adventure number 600 and what? 95, I forgot already. <laughs> and uh, I debated calling this broadcast a hodgepodge of odd jobs. <laughs> you see behind me a, a large canvas. This is actually a print of one of my paintings that a gallery has, has ordered for a client of theirs. <laughs> That's all right, that's right. But then they asked me to do some retouching on it. Anyway, anyway, no, glad to do that. Although when I saw it, I thought, wow, that's a lot grainier than I would prefer. But that's not what I'm going to do today. Today, I'm going to do some calligraphy. Woohoo! <laughs> Talk about at the outskirts, raggedy edge of my art career. That would be calligraphy. Let me turn you around and start talking about calligraphy. So, um, I am doing a certificate for a friend. I'm in fact I'm doing two certificates, one for my son-in-law and one for my friend. They're along the same line. Certificate of license to ministry, quote unquote ministry. And, um, there's a story, funny, long story behind that. I don't know if I'll get into it or not, but uh, let's just start talking about calligraphy. Again, this is right on the edge of my career. It's, I consider, I am, let's be clear, I am not by any means a master calligrapher. I'm a pretty good, maybe, maybe pretty good hobby calligrapher, okay? It's my hobby. Um, this is my middle size uh, calligraphy kit. I actually have a bigger one than this with more stuff in it. Um, this has, again, hodgepodge. I'm going to use that word twice today. <laughs> a hodgepodge of calligraphy tools, um, nibs, you know, all the stuff. Big brushes, uh, some, some very fine uh, calligraphy pens here of various sorts. Ooh, there's a brush pen. That's, didn't even realize it had that. And here's some flat brushes for doing lettering. Anyway, etc., etc., and so forth. Now, the kind of brush, the kind of pen I'm going to be using today is going to be this made by Pentel. No, Pilot. Oh, sorry. Not Pentel. Pilot Parallel Pen. And I have four sizes here ranging from six millimeter, which is huge, almost a quarter of an inch wide, down to the smallest one that I'm going to be using, which is the one I'm going to be using, which is one and a half millimeter. And that's this one right here. So uh, parallel pens, they're, they're really nice tools. Now I did, I talked to one time, I have a friend, Don King, who is a master calligrapher. And uh, I asked him how he liked these and he kind of grumbled a little bit. <laughs> those of you who know Don King, <coughs> and I say this with great affection, those of you who know Don King would expect no other <laughs> than a little, a moment of grumbling. I like him a lot. I mean that. But anyway, all right. So how does one go about, say, filling in a certificate? Now, it just so happens that in this case, I actually do have some backup copies in case I screw up, which is always very nice. But for my son-in-law, Seth, I do not have a backup. So, whoo, pressure's on. Okay, let me tell you then, how does a calligrapher go about filling out a certificate without screwing up? Well, one of the answers is, well, the main answer is practice. Now, if you're a full-time calligrapher, you don't need to practice because every day that's all you're doing is practicing. But if you're like me and it's a hobby, then you got to get everything out and dust off your calligraphic hand a little bit. One of the tools that they make, whoever they is, um, calligraphy people, is this practice pad. And, and uh, i got to chuckle a little bit. Um, this is perfectly good if you're in the faintest 
sunrise of your calligraphy career. That is, this, this is for beginner, beginner, beginners. And that's where, you know, that's where we all start. We all start as beginner, beginners. But very quickly, you're going to move away from that, in my opinion, and move on to um, something better. But this, that's what this is right here. It's a, it's a calligraphy guide. And I, I will tell you that I am barely using it. As you see, this one's already messed up with several marks. And I've already done some practice without you here. Now, I have the luxury of a light table. So you can see this table with a couple fluorescent bulbs inside it. And I've already practiced somewhat. I've practiced that my friend's name, Richard Travis Kiker, Richard Travis Kiker, Minister of the Gospel, and a date. And, uh, but part of what makes it kind of funny is that I, uh, I'm not following these lines, especially the, the, the angle of the lettering. <laughs> all right, let me, I know I'm, I'm all over the map on you here, but let me, let me back up a little bit and explain a little bit about my calligraphy journey. In fact, let me see, I think I might have, forgive me, I didn't know I was gonna do this, ADD. Um, I think, <laughs> I may have the calligraphy book that was in my stocking on Christmas morning, I think in 1967. <laughs> yep, I do. Woohoo! Here it is. Speedball. So I was 12 years old, maybe 13. It might have been Christmas of 68. Anyway, there's my name. And here it is. Uh, this, this edition was printed in 1965. So there you go. And my dad, no doubt, was the main, I would think, I would guess, the main influencer. He was, both my parents are brilliant and very artistic. My dad was a good painter. But anyway, I'm assuming that he's the one that said, let's get, let's get Dan a calligraphy. So I started my calligraphy journey plenty early enough, age 12. Um, but didn't really stick with it a whole lot. I actually reached my climax or zenith of my calligraphy career about five years ago when I did a series of DVDs for Jerry's Artorama. And uh, I, at that point, if that, if that had really taken off, I would have stuck with it. I thought, yeah, I, I would enjoy doing more calligraphy for the rest of my life, but it didn't really take off. So it's just kind of floundered and there you go. But these are the the go-bys, I'm gonna call it that, that I designed, that I developed for the uh, DVDs that I did with Jerry's Art Around. Now these are still available, the DVDs are, if you if you want to order some Dan Nelson calligraphy, why in the world would you? But anyway, because I'm a nice guy. And <laughs> I, I tried to make clear on the DVDs, I am not a master, but I'm a pretty good teacher. So that was my that was my appeal, that I can, I can teach beginners. Now, this is called Chancery Cursive. And uh, in the years since I did this, I've really wished that I had modeled a freer, looser, um, I don't know what the word is, more expressive alphabet. This, this is very tight. This is a, but again, I, I was thinking like a beginner, 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 beginner. And what does a beginner need? And beginners need to start stiff and you need to start, you know, following the rules, doing the rules. And so that's what this is. But I am, I'm going to follow this. So I printed these out just for fun to show you today and partly for my own self. Again, if I was a full-time calligrapher, I wouldn't need to look at an alphabet to say, now, how do I make a J again? You know, I would, it would be like completely intuitive, but um, that's not where I'm at. So. Um, I'm using this as a go-by, but I'm not following it strictly. Does that make sense? I'm using these letters that I made up based on, you know, the history of the chancery cursive and so on and so forth, but I'm not following them strictly. All right. So what I did just a few minutes ago is practice a couple times using this, this as a guideline. Now I'm going to go ahead, since I've gotten that far, you don't need to see me write that, that name again. I'm going to take this line right here, Richard Travis Kiker. I'm going to put it, and some of you are saying, what? <laughs> you, mean, you mean you're going to trace? <laughs> and then my answer is, heck yes, of course. What do you think I'm going to do? 
wing it. That's it. And I don't, you know, back when I was a kid, I, I wang it. <laughs> I winged it a whole bunch more than I do now. All right, so just a little bit of, for what it's worth, a little bit of how to. Here's part of my post it note there. And, oh, rats, I just ran out of Kleenex. That's a bummer. Okay, pull one out of the wastebasket. So, one of the things I do pretty often is make sure the pen's working. Let me see, do I want this? Yeah. And, yeah, glove is a good idea. And I'm just going to start tracing. Oh, I should have said before I started. See, and I'm, by the way, when I say tracing, I don't l mean literally tracing. I mean following, but not slavishly. I am free to change my mind on every single letter. And that's actually what I'm doing. I'm making refinements. There, time to wipe it off. I picked up a, just a hair of something. Now, I thought that I had tested this paper adequately. I am discovering right now that I did not test it adequately because the ink is bleeding. So hang on just a second. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go ahead and finish this line, his name. Then I will reassess the damage here. So hang on just a second. In case anybody wonders, do I do calligraphy with my left hand? Heck no! <laughs> In fact, all you people that do clear with the left hand, you're like... Okay, now, let's, let's look at this real close and see if that's good enough. I will tell you right off the bat, if it is good enough, it's barely good enough. Um, because it's bleeding. All right, so this is a good, um, and that almost looks like an E there because of the way the S ends and the K starts. So I'll probably change that. I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably going to, um, not use this because yeah, it's it's bleeding pretty bad. Do you see what I mean? Feathering the ink. All right, so let me let me talk to you face to face for just for a minute because if, if there are by any chance any a nice close-up of my nose if there are any uh, aspiring calligraphers watching this let me give you one piece of very very good information advice that I wish somebody had given me when I was 12 years old um, success on a calligraphy job I'm all dark aren't I let me see if I can fix this a little bit. Hang on. Success on any calligraphy job entails the synergistic coming together of three elements. Three things need to cooperate, and one of them is not your skill, okay? So if you're trying to do calligraphy and it's going, it's just not working, well, the three things are paper, pen, and ink. There needs to be a happy synergistic relationship between the kind of pen you're using, the kind of paper you're using, and the kind of ink you're using. And some of the mess ups you might be having, like this right here, may not be your fault. This is a bad relationship between ink and paper. Even though I tested way down here, not on this page, but I tested on a little corner, um, and I thought that it was going to be fine, but I've since now just discovered, whoops, my test was not extensive enough. So what that means is either, either I have to uh, 
change ink in this pen, which is a possibility. Um, hang on just a second. Let me, let me look around and see what I've got here. And since I'm looking around, let me let, let you look around with, with me. Um, I'm trying to see if I have a, a cartridge. See, th this is the kind of ink that's pre-packaged. It's hermetically sealed. Like here's an, here's an open, unused one, for instance. And when you, sc when you screw the, the, the handle down, um, now let's see, I don't know if this will fit. Pull this off. Is that the same size? Well, let me let me check here and see if this goes on here. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so that doesn't go to this pen. That's the problem with having a whole bunch of pens here. You're, you're not always sure. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. You're not always sure um, which reservoir goes with which pen. All right, I have a couple options here. One is, yeah, get this out. Sure, the plunger works. Okay, do you, do you see the when you twist this, the 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 plunger here that pulls back? That's for sucking up paint uh, ink, <laughs> not paint. That's for sucking up ink into uh, the reservoir. So here, let me try that again. So I'm going to grab a different kind of ink altogether. It's not even in this container. It's uh, fountain pen ink. Essentially, this is a fountain pen. And let's try this here. Let's see if this ink... I wasn't planning to do all this with you guys. But in a way, and again, this is only going to be interesting probably to those of you who are wannabe calligraphers. Then reverse the plunger a little bit until you get a few drips coming out the nib. There you go. Okay, so I just switched pens and switched ink. And since I have an extra um, one of these certificates, then I'm just going to, well, first of all, I got to get the pen writing. All right, let's try that. So. Let's find out now if there is a happy synergistic relationship, as I'm calling it, between this pen and this ink and this paper. It's certainly going down as a very different color. What I'm doing now, M-I-N-I, -I, what I'm doing right now is not nearly as black is what I was using a few minutes ago. That's all right, it doesn't matter. I'm just making an observation to you here. T. By the way, far and away the most uh, common mistake that I make with calligraphy is I misspell words because I'm not thinking about words, I'm thinking about marks. Let me see if I can get, um, for some reason, my uh, Um, sorry, my monitor over here is not recording your chat, so let's see if I can fix that. I keep error loading. Tap to retry. Okay, forgive me. Okay, I'm going to do what I sometimes have to do out oh, and about. I'm going to restart my iPad. Forgive me for a minute more technical hijinks. I'll go ahead and, and practice. Whoops, during the minute while I was doing that, my pen ceased to work. 
again, I just want to make clear, I would rank myself, rate myself as a pretty good hobby calligrapher. So I make no pretense. Now, maybe that is pretentious. <laughs> maybe calling myself pretty good is in fact pretentious. That's very possible. Um, but I, whoops, but I think, I think that's a fair assessment. Sorry, I almost went off the camera there, didn't I? Well, the good news is, um, that, uh, the pink, the ink, pink ink, <laughs> the ink seems not to be bleeding. Let me, let me take a close look. Yeah, I think we're good. I do wish, I wish this was flowing a little freer than it is. I wish the pen was flowing. Now, again, for those of you who are wannabe calligraphers, you don't want to follow me <laughs> too much. Well, if you're a beginner, you do. But a quote unquote, a real calligrapher, I feel like, would be making all of these marks with much more uh, fluidity and speed. Um, like my friend Don King, for instance, his letters would be freer than this. And calligraphy, by the way, I think calligraphy is great fun just for what it's worth. I think it's great fun. And one of the funnest things about calligraphy is that you can get better in 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, think what other, I know that's kind of crazy, but what other um, area of human endeavor can you see an improvement in 15 minutes? Now, if you get up the next day, you know, and try calligraphy again, you'll be back, um, you know, <laughs> You won't be as good as you were when you ended the day before, so you, you need that 15 minutes again. Um, I just dipped my, my pen in water, by the way. I just wanted to get it flowing a little more, and then, of course, but now it's a combination of water and ink. Yeah, no, the pen is not. This is, by the way, is a Lamy, L-A-M-Y, very, very, I, I well, I shouldn't say very, very, and for, according to my research, a fairly highly respected um, fountain pen company out of Germany, L-A-M-Y. <laughs> now I've killed it. I dipped it in water and it's not working at all. So let me show you. So what do you do? You reverse the plunger again till you get a drop of pure ink coming all the way out. There we go. All the way out the pen. Put the handle back on. and then clean up your mess so you'll have a real mess on your hands. All right, oh, it is flowing a little better. That's good. All right, this is as boring as watching paint dry or grass grow, whatever that expression is, right? So here we go, we're going to do it again. And since I've now, um, I'm not gonna trace this this time, I'm gonna trace this. I'm fairly happy with my Minister of the Gospel page uh, line. So, I'll use that as a, as a go-by, so to speak. And I'm using here, um, removable scotch tape. I know scotch is a brand, forgive me, but it is it is a brand. <laughs> it is scotch tape, uh, but the removable kind. I use it a lot and have used it for years, years and years and years in my in my career. It's very handy for things like this. Oh my goodness, something just happened right there. I have no idea where that came from. 
Now let me see, if this was my only copy, what would I do? Well, I pick up an eraser first of all and discover that that's not working really at all. Wow. I, you know, it's funny, I had the urge to go wash my hands when I picked up this page, and I guess that was a good urge. Okay. Okay. I hope I'm making all my mess ups <laughs> on this on this certificate because I have, thanks to my friend, he bought, he wisely bought a packet of five uh, certificates so that I can screw up. All right, now, I'm sorry, let me, let me restart my iPad and see if anybody's actually even watching me today. <laughs> it says zero. <laughs> That's how much I deserve. That's how many followers, I watchers I deserve today. <laughs> that does make me wonder if I'm actually broadcasting. I believe I am. All right, here we go. Let's do this again. And I'm going to actually back up a little bit. Shift my paper a little bit. Bring more space between those words. Excuse me, I'm talking ugh, with a pen in my mouth. Triggering a gag reflex, actually. stop and take a look at that and I am not very happy with that. Um, again, for some reason it's bleeding even though I test, I already did one and it didn't bleed, the second one is bleeding. Assuming I'm broadcasting, although I'm getting lots of error messages here and here and there. Forgive me for you guys if it's not working. Doggone it. I might I might eliminate this entire broadcast. For one thing, I've got another bad mark that came from the same place as the last bad mark came from, evidently. I wonder if it's the bottom of this piece of paper. Let's get that out of the way. And it is bleeding again, even though the last one that I did did not bleed. This one is bleeding. 
You may ask me now if I'm irritated. The answer would be a hearty uh, yes. All right, gang. I have enough technical issues going on that are driving me nuts. One is which I'm not seeing any chat and I'm going to error loading even though I've restarted my um, iPad. So forgive me. I, I, well, if nobody's watching, I, nobody to forgive me. But I'll, I'm going to pause here and I'll continue in a few minutes when I find out what's going on. Thanks. Bye. All right, are we back on? I think we might be. All right, I've spent several minutes doing <clears throat> experiments. I still uh, am having technical issues with my uh, monitor, my iPhone. I've turned, restarted it, rebooted it a couple times. Be that as it may, I'm going to continue. Um, i show you what I've settled on. So I, in the meantime, I tried this ink. Uh oh, my wife's here for a question. No. And I've tried Dr. Martin's India ink. And I've settled on... Um, Rotring artist color. And likewise, <clears throat> I've tried several pens. So all of this goes under the, the heading, what I said a while ago, that successful calligraphy requires a juxtaposition, <clears throat> a synergistic relationship between three items, the paper, the pen, and the ink. So I've, now I've gone through <coughs> actually six pens, <coughs> four of them are here, and uh, one, two, three, four kinds of ink. So there you go. The paper is a, a, a non-negotiable. <coughs> so I've actually settled on <coughs> a browse that makes me, yes, that does make me feel a little bit smart. <laughs> Just to, it's 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 only so my fellow calligraphers go, ooh. <laughs> You're using a browse, not a speedball, as we almost all do here in America. Uh, one word of further instruction: when I told you to put <clears throat> a post-it note on the paper, <clears throat> that, my friends, is I do not at all mean. <clears throat> forgive me, it's frog in my throat. I do not at all mean one piece. I mean a stack of post-it notes. That's very important. All right, so as you can see, I practiced again using this brown ink, and I, I kind of like brown ink. I know it's prep, maybe not, not the most formal for a certificate, <clears throat> but I like it, and I think it looks nice, so um, that's what I'm going to go with. So once again, I'm going to be tracing, not, <clears throat> not slavishly tracing, but just using my earlier, earlier um, calligraphy as a guide. And very carefully placing these, this stack of post-it notes, probably six of them, six of them there. <clears throat> and here's, again, the ink or the paint, I don't know which it is, it might be it might be acrylic, I'm not sure. And I'm not pushing the the dropper here, I'm just letting it rest on the inside of the pen. I'm gonna put this back in the jar up there. Now this is very important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then give it a test. <clears throat> nope, I did too many. Let's, whoa, that was close. Let's do this again. Whoa. 
<laughs> that drop could easily have fallen on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that now. All right, that feels about right. And as I mentioned a while ago that calligraphy is one of those things you can actually get better in 15 minutes. So I'm in fact, I have a better hand now than I did oh, 20, 30 minutes ago when I started this operation. I'm warmed up is perhaps one way to put it. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to make a little more room between that, the C that I just wrote and the H next to it. Does that make sense? So I shifted, shifted the paper over as I'm tracing. And now my pen has dried out during this 30, 40 seconds while I've been doing this operation, so I need to test. I think I'm okay now. I think calligraphy, like, like a number of other things in art, can only work, I, I would, well, yeah, like a number of things in art. You can only be a calligrapher if you're pretty OCD, well, not obsessive compulsive disorder, <laughs> but definitely obsessive compulsive. I, I, I can't even imagine how you could su successfully do calligraphy if you weren't just a very orderly. One, two, three, whoops, I'm almost off the page here. Four, five, hang on. So I'm using this drip, by the way, now as a dip. Nope, it's not working. One, two, three, nope. Okay, back to the stopper then, the dropper, I should call it. Just rubbing that, there was a little drop of ink. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for some reason. I'm now getting a, not, a, not an adequate cover. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that looks about right. Once again, I'm going to move, <clears throat> move, the, like, move the page over a little bit to give a little more room between the S and the next letter. And during those several seconds, my S, yes, my pen has become inoperative. So load it up again. Oh, I do have a few people watching now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, here we go. I will say about my, even I've said repeatedly, I am far, far, far from a master calligrapher. I'm a, okay, I'm gonna say middle of the road <laughs> hobbyist. Um, be that as it may, however, however middle of the road I am, I am, in my opinion, <laughs> and I may be wrong about this, I mean, my, in my opinion, I'm far enough along that I'm allowed 
to pursue um, some of my own idiosyncrasies, several of which you're seeing here. And uh, the idea, my idea being, that if you're, if you're a very, very beginner in calligraphy, you're not allowed any <laughs> idiosyncrasies. You're not allowed, you have to learn the rules before you can start breaking them. And indeed, I might be kidding myself that I think I'm far enough that I can break some rules, but I do think I'm far enough along that I can break a few rules, some of which I'll point out here in a minute. Well, in a, in a word, the rule that I'm breaking, so to speak, is I'm, I'm uh, allowing myself to make my own letters, so to speak. Um, Probably one of my big, biggest idiosyncrasies is um, you notice that the S at the end of Travis is this kind of cursive S. And the S in the middle of minister is the other kind of S. And many people would consider that a mistake. Um, in my case, that's very intentional. Um, I usually, if an S comes at the end of a word, I use this kind because it allows for this tail to go out beyond the, the, the letter. Of course, I know many people would, and probably all the pros, would vehemently disagree with me, but eh. Same thing with the letter R. Some words I feel like this R, like in Richard and Minister, that R is prettier, looks better. But in Travis and at the end of Kiker, I use the other kind of R. Now, I do know that very few amateurs, people who are just looking at this calligraphy, none of them will ever even notice that I used two different kinds of S's and two different kinds of R's. Um, Again, that's an intentional choice. It's something I've done, has evolved over the years. And again, I can just imagine that some masters, I, they would be laughing their heads off or pulling their hair out, one or the other, I can imagine. But then I can also imagine a number of other masters, master calligraphers going, no, that's exactly the way you're supposed to think. So there you go. Whew, I am so sorry, folks. That is technical, just machines not working. That's all that is. And I do not know what to do about it. Um, my Mevo camera just quit working for a while. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> uh, my spelling sucks. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. All right. Hello, Colby. New viewer or new commenter anyway. Good to have you on board. Whew. All right. So I'm... Oh, the other... Th I was going to say, I was right in the middle of saying when, when my camera ducked out on me. Um, most teachers of calligraphy say you want to find a pen and an ink and a paper synergist synergy where you get a, a smooth a pure black or in this case brown coloration throughout the entire le letter I disagree with that uh, for quite strongly for a very contemporary reason 
Um, you can see at these letters, all of these letters, there's light areas and dark areas, mostly dark at the bottom, of course, because I drew the pen down and lifted up, leaving a little puddle of ink at the bottom. Some calligraphers would consider that a weakness. In the days, uh, in the age we live in of computers, I'm trying to put distance between myself and all the knuckleheads that do this with computer. So I'm trying to make it obvious that this is hand lettered. And to me, that's, you know, as far as I know, there's no computer, I'm sure they'll invent one someday, maybe, that imitates uh, that as well. But at the moment, um, I don't know of any. So uh, again, it's slightly unconventional, perhaps or perhaps slightly advanced. It, it might be the difference between what a beginner is taught and what an, a, a true master would say. No, I'm not tracing here, so I'm in grave danger of misspelling a word, so I try to keep my wits about me. August, and I've, I've made this a six different ways in all the attempts I've been making. A U G U When it comes to calligraphy, I think I am I'm in the second quadrant of the um, unconscious competency quadrant. That is, I know how bad I am. <laughs> I'm not very good, and I know it. <laughs> so I, I hope I'm not in the first quadrant, which is, I don't know how bad I am. <laughs> That's even worse, right? I think I've graduated from, I hope, August 2019. Okay, if I can get this date right, I'll be done with certificate number one. Two, zero, one, nine. I'm gonna do the nine different than I did last time. Whew. All right, certificate number one is finished. And let me get this thing out of the way and out of danger before I mess it up again. All right now, certificate number two, and I only have one chance to get this right because um, I only have one copy. And I do not know, this feels like a, a pretty nice smooth paper. I could take a break here. And by the way, my chats are finally working again. Um, Colby asks, what kind of ink am I using? Uh, Colby, I've tried four different kinds since I started this afternoon, and I've ended up with Rotring, artist color, brown, obviously. I also tried Pen Ink Sketch, and I tried uh, Dr. Martin's Van Dyke Brown India Ink, and uh, the first thing I tried was uh, a fountain pen, you know, whatever kind of ink that is there. Uh, so ended up ended up with uh, Rotring. All right, I'm going to take a break here because it just dawns on me. I'm going to do something before I start this. I'm going to make a color copy of this certificate so that if I do screw up, <clears throat> I'll at least have uh, an uh, almost as good copy. Okay, so sorry, quick break. Hello, Benji. It is it is fun indeed. Kobe lines is it walnut? Um, it might be. It doesn't say, it says brown, pigmented, transparent color, light, fast, waterproof. And I wish it told me if, if this is actually ink or um, liquid acrylics. I don't know. Maybe you can find out if you just look up Rotring. By the price on it there, $235, that makes me think this is a pretty old bottle. All right, sorry, little break here while I make a color copy of this, or color, a couple color copies, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Sorry for the interruption. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Whew. Um, so while I was gone, I put this 
on my scanner and I tweaked it quite a bit actually in Photoshop and then printed these copies up. So if, if something goes bad and I mess this up, I'll use this. And this looks almost as good as the original. Um, and I took one of the copies that I made and went ahead and did my, my go by. Can I use that word? The thing that I'm going to trace anyway. So um, let me show you how that goes. I think you get the idea by now. Yeah, I've got it lined up almost exactly the way I want it. So again, using more of this um, repositionable scotch tape. Reaching for the tape is not supposed to be part of the broadcast. <laughs> it's just called bad planning. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to tape it. Fold the tape over on the edge and hold it steady. All right, so I'm going to trace that more or less. And again, the, the pen that I'm using is a Browse. I don't know what size it is. Can I read it? Nope, I can't even read what size it is. Um, and I feel like I've got a pretty good, uh, uh, what's the word, routine pace going here, so I'm gonna continue. Again, this is a stack of, ooh, it's only three pages. That's important. Uh, again, I use Post-it notes to train my point on. In fact, while I was doing this, this this was my, and this might be kind of insightful, forget, this was my, so I dipped my, actually didn't dip my pen, but I put ink on my pen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven times. And I'll show you that. I, again, I just want you to see how I think pretty, I'm typical in this regard. Let me get this safe by the way and again show you here's the ink or acrylic that I'm using I don't know which it is I suppose it's ink and and I'm not squeezing the the dropper here just putting a drop of ink there okay and then touching my pen on the post-it note ten times one two three four five six seven eight no, that's enough. That's enough. Eight times. All right. No pressure now. That's a lie. Lots of pressure. <laughs> and again, when I say that I'm tracing the earlier lettering, please understand that that does not mean literally tracing, slavishly tracing. No, 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 no. I'm using, my goal is to make, and my pen feels a little dry, so I'm gonna do the same operation again. Uh, my goal is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Of course, is to do a better job on the final than I did on the, on the practice run, so to speak. So I'm not tracing, again, not tracing slavishly. I'm trying to improve on what I did the last time around. For some reason, maybe it's the paper, maybe. The ink isn't lasting as long as it did on the practice run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That feels about right. By the way, I'll go ahead and, again, just in case there are any 
novice um, calligraphers watching. I'm going to move my move my page over a little bit. By the way. Um, let me let me give you a, a, a free tip. <laughs> Another one. Um, the the beginner beginner calligraphy books and videos so forth that you watch they will tell you that you're supposed to hold let me turn on these lights here you're supposed to hold your pen at the same angle throughout the entire process but while you're doing lettering right same angle same angle you don't twist it like this that's what they tell you in beginner beginner oh come on Um, and I guess that is true if you if you're a beginner beginner, but that is not I learned at all the way the pros do it. That's just beginner beginner. So don't get yourself so locked into that four five six seven eight nine ten that you're not ready to advance, progress, move. For instance, on this W right here, I am turning my pen at a different angle to get the thick and thin. Now again, if you're talking to a novice, a beginner, and I suspect even a novice beginner teacher, <laughs> they will squawk and spew and say, no, 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 you never turn your pen. And I am turning my, I am rolling my snobbish eyes. No, that is not true. That is the way beginners, and I suspect that even many beginner teachers, that's what they tell you, but no, do you actually, when you watch, look at what I think are the best, the masters, they do in fact turn their pen all the time. But a beginner, maybe what they're trying to convey is that a beginner has to get used to the idea of not turning their pen before they learn the advanced. That may be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, but some of you who have a knack, if you end up having a knack for calligraphy, um, you're going to want to graduate away from that, from that beginner stuff fairly quickly. Uh, I'm not thinking like you have to be a calligrapher for two years or ten years or some ridiculous thing before you begin to learn the fine points. That's just, and that's partly a maybe a personality issue with me. Don't stay in Beginnerville too long, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I think they should tell beginners more advanced techniques before they do. All right, 2018 to zero. One, eight. And again, if you missed the beginning of this broadcast, just count yourself lucky. <laughs> um, I'm doing two sort of ordination or ministry, license ministry, three, four, five. I guess this is called certificate of ordination. This particular one is for my son-in-law. whose name, <laughs> as you can see, is Seth. <laughs> um, anyway, I went th through, um, and I better be careful talking at the same time here. I went through um, four different pens, and, or more, five, and, um, at least four different kinds of ink before I found one that was satisfactory. And fortunately, this paper is working just fine. I'm really having to squeeze in um, these words, these letters. One, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Feels about right. Commune. C O M M C O M M U N. I. As you can see, I'm not tracing here at all. I'm. I'm one, and letter one letter ahead of my go by. Now let me let me fix that. has been sitting there. It's gone bad on me, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, there may be other ways to do accomplish what I'm doing here by, but you have to come up with some, some routine to make sure that every time you put your pen to the paper that you're getting the right amount of flow. C H U R C H. So that's the, this is the procedure that I'm finding is working for me today. A little bit dry, more ink. And again, I'm not dipping my pen in the inkwell, that would give me too much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Instead, I'm putting a dropper onto the inside of my pen. If I can finish this letter, I think I've succeeded. Whew, there. Let me get this. So oh, I didn't mess up. Isn't that wonderful? On the original. But you kind of you see the steps that I went through. And again, forgive me, I am not a master calligrapher. I'm just a decent hobby calligrapher. But there's my hobby calligraphy. Ain't that pretty? Thank you, Colby. Appreciate that. Colby asks, Colby, you're a calligrapher, evidently. Would you begin with holding it at the same angle as many beginners are very loose with their angles? They move too much. You're exactly correct, Colby. I think that is the case. I think that beginners need to learn the discipline of, of not swiveling their pen um, and then later learn that, oh, you actually do swivel your pen, but not willy-nilly as a, as a beginner would tend to do. I think that's exactly the case. I think for my own journey, though I was told over and over and over and over again for years, it, it seemed to me that, you know, you're supposed to hold it at the same angle. And, and then very late in the process, like, oh, what? Wait, what? <laughs> you're not? <laughs> it's, that's sort of the way I felt in my journey. It's like, well, <laughs> Somebody could have told me that 25 years ago. I mean, I, you know, I finally did get the message, but I, evidently I was watching beginner, beginner, beginner stuff for, for too long. All right, <laughs> that's the end of this broadcast. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll move you so you can see my, yeah, my striped shirt. That looks good. So what I have accomplished today is two little certificates. I have a whole bunch of other stuff I've yet to do, but thanks so much for watching. And uh, I don't know if I have time. I have a, we're having a little uh, three-year-old birthday at my house. My youngest grandson just turned three yesterday. We're having a big party today. And he wants to waste. He wants to have a waste. <laughs> so we're, we're finding a park we're gonna, where we're going to have wastes. Of course, he needs to win every waste. <laughs> well, not everyone. His siblings won't, won't go for that. He is the youngest in the family after all. But we will certainly <laughs> let little Avi win the important races today. So I don't know if I've got time to broadcast more today or not. So thanks for your company. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I finally got through it. Glad I have this job done. Thanks. Talk to you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.